हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यू प्रोग्रामिंग क्लब टुडे वी विल बी सॉल्विंग अनदर डेली लीड कोर प्रॉब्लम एंड द प्रॉब्लम्स नेम इज डायमीटर ऑफ बाइनरी ट्री सो गिवन द रूट ऑफ अ बाइनरी ट्री यू हैव टू रिटर्न द लेंथ ऑफ डायमीटर ऑफ दैट ट्री ओके एंड those of you who do not know what diameter of a binary tree is diameter of a binary tree is the length of longest path between any two nodes in the tree okay so this path may or may not pass through the root of the binary tree so the length of the paths between two nodes is represented by the number of edges between them okay so if we take this particular example we can see that uh, you know just by observation that this is the longest part that there can be okay uh and the two nodes uh, uh, you know from which distance is calculated between which distance is calculated are these two 4 and 3 okay and the number of edges is 1 2 and 3 so the number of edges will be equal to number of nodes in path Minus one. So the number of nodes in this particular path were four, and minus one equal to three. Okay. So we have we you know uh, somehow need to calculate this particular thing uh, programmatically. Okay. So let's say at each node we know that. what will be the you know depth of left subtree and depth of right subtree okay what i mean by depth is here for example depth of left subtree of 1 was why this pen is not working here i don't know uh anyhow let's clear it and copy this one again okay now i think it should be working yeah so you know if you want to find what will be the left subtree depth of one so what is the longest branch starting from one and ending to a leaf node uh by left subtree de depth we mean uh, this particular thing so the longest branch that can be there is this starting from one and ending at a leaf node so how many nodes are there there are three nodes if we calculate one and if we do not take one uh or say include one then there are two nodes only okay two nodes so we can say that left subtree depth is of two nodes okay or you can say two only and then what will be the right subtree depth how many nodes in the longest branch starting from one to uh leaf node so so the longest branch can be uh, only one branch that is there and it is having only one node so right subtree depth will be one okay so if we do not count the current node or the 
रूट दैट वी आर कंसिडरिंग करंट रूट यू कैन से देन हाउ मेनी नंबर ऑफ नोट्स विल बी देयर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम फाइव टू थ्री इट विल बी नथिंग बट लेफ्ट सब ट्री डेप्थ प्लस राइट सब ट्री डेप्थ प्लस राइट सब ट्री डेप्थ ओके सो वेन वेन यू विल एड दीज टू यू विल गेट टू प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू थ्री ओके सो यू कैन ऑल्सो यू नो यू कैन डू दिस थिंग रिकर्सिवली एंड यू कैन कीप वन वेरिएबल मैक्सिमम डायमीटर ओके एंड यू कैन कीप अपडेटिंग यू नो इट विद करंट डायमीटर वैल्यू लेट से दिस पर्टिकुलर वैल्यू इज करंट डायमीटर दिस होल वैल्यू एंड देन यू विल कीप अपडेटिंग योर मैक्सिमम डायमीटर विद योर करंट डायमीटर for each node that you will be calculating current diameter okay for each node calculate current diameter now you may ask that how we will be knowing this particular depths uh, right subtree depth and left subtree depth for that what we will do is when we are hitting a zero node okay let's say on null node okay there was two null nodes here these two will return zero indicating that there is no node here then you know uh so th uh, this will be your left subtree depth for four and this particular one will be your right subtree depth for four and you will take maximum of them so zero and zero maximum of these two will be zero only and since we have to uh, include four also while calculating at least depth so it will be one plus zero so one plus maximum of zero and zero it will be one okay so one will be passed to two so for two left sub tree depth will be one and similarly for the right sub uh, tree depth for two will be one only okay then two will add one to maximum of one comma one which is left this one was your left sub tree and this one was your right subtree okay i hope i am making sense here it's little bit messy but i guess we are arriving you know at a solution so then uh two will be passed from two and one will be passed from three okay so depth wise you know how many what is the depth of the current node if we want to pass to a uh, function it will be nothing but 1 plus maximum of 2 and 1 which will be nothing but 1 plus uh 2 which will be 3 okay but since there is uh, nothing to pass here uh, uh no you know uh parent node is there for at least a root of that tree so we will just calculate keep calculating this diameter and keep updating the value at last you will be having maximum diameter so this is how everything will work out and if you see the constraints also uh that the number of nodes in that tree will be of order 10 raised to power 4 and node values will be Minus hundred two hundred. So node values are are not a concern for us here. So how many times we will be visiting each node? 
we will be visiting each node only once so overall time complexity will be order of n only where n is the number of nodes okay so it will be of order 10 raised to power 4 and these number of operations 10 raised to power 4 operations uh, is less than or are less than the operations limit so this is our operations limit 10 raised to power 8 ops limit so whenever the number of operations needed by your you know solution uh, is less than the ops limit then your solution will be getting accepted okay and you know this is the concept just to check whether you know the solution that you are thinking of will pass all the test cases or not okay so if you are new to it i will provide a link of an article where it will be explained that how time complexity of accepted solution varies uh, with input size so this was your input size okay anyhow let's move to the implementation of this particular approach so this is the implementation we will call a find diameter function in this particular function what we are doing if the current root is null okay uh, this is this case if let me clear everything first I guess now it's fine so this is the case when the current root is null so root is null here so there will be no depth so you will return zero okay and then comes left depth and right depth you will find the left subtree depth or and right subtree depth okay for four what will be the left and right depth zero only left depth zero right depth also zero and if you add left and right depth it will be zero so current diameter for four will be zero uh, this is for four then similar thing we can do for two so here if you ask what will be the depth it will be one it will be one here then one plus one maximum of these two so it will be two okay so you will pass two here and similarly one here and if you want to know the current diameter here it will be one plus one which will be nothing but two okay so you will find the left depth right depth and current diameter will be left depth plus right depth and you will keep updating your maximum diameter variable that you have declared and at last you will return depth of current subtree ok so when you will be having the most updated value of maximum diameter you will return it and that is how you will be solving this particular problem if you are still having any doubts or any queries in general then you may ask them in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day ahead